welcome to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Kayla. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took this old piece of furniture that I have in my restroom and gave it a nice little makeover or upcycle, I guess, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and you know, with us being quarantined at home, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and take care of this um, cabinet that I have in my house. And it's great, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't my style. So instead of giving away, I said, hey, let's go ahead and change that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is our soap dispenser that we have in our restroom and I'm using this as inspiration for this cabinet because it has the same kind of texture with this wicker part and it also has some metal siding and a mixture of wood. So I'm going to recreate that same look. To start off this project I went ahead and moved all the drawers from the cabinet and I'm going to use this sand block to sand down the whole entire cabinet. I sanded down the metal parts as well. Now the metal on this cabinet had this really dirty, grimy stuff stuck to it. So the best way to, for me to remove it was using a sand block. I also sanded down all of the drawers as well. Now I should have removed the handles first, but I didn't. So the smart thing to do is remove your handles first, like I am doing here. I then got a damp cloth and removed any of the dust from the sanding so it can be nice and smooth. For when I apply the paint to the cabinet. Now I'm going to start by painting all of the silver parts of this soap dispenser and I'm going to use this silver spray paint and I spray painted all of the metal edgings. In case you're interested in knowing all of the paints that I'm using in this video I'll be linking them in the description box below. Now I also spray painted the handles of the drawers as well and they looked brand new so no need to buy new hardware. So this is a paint that I'm using for the base on to the cabinet and this is the same paint I use in my daughter's playhouse. So I went ahead and started off with painting all the wicker portions and I got a smaller brush to paint all the edges. I did not tape anything off so it can be a fast application of the paint. And I just slowly painted the edges without getting anything onto the silver spray painted portion. Now, if I had any errors like you see right here, all I did is got a damp cloth and wiped off the excess paint before it dried. And there you go, easy peasy lemon squeezy, nice and clean and no fuss. And I also repeated the same exact process amongst all of the drawers on this cabinet. So this is what it looks like after I painted with the black and the silver spray paint. It looks so amazing and already looks so good already. But we're not quite done yet. So um, I let this dry for a few hours before I apply the next coat of paint. So this is the next paint that I'm using. It's a metallic paint. And this is what I'm going to use to make that metal look and I'm going to use a bristle brush and I'm going to dry brush it um, onto the wicker portion of the cabinet. Now I went against the grain on the wicker basket so it just looks nice and brushed on and you can still get a peek, the black to peek through from behind. I repeated the same exact technique amongst all of the drawers as well and only painting the wicker portion of it and if I had any excess paint on my brush I just went ahead and dabbed it on a paper towel. Make sure I didn't have too much paint on my brush. After I finished painting the cabinet I went ahead and added all of the hardware back onto the drawers.
Now we're not done yet. Now I'm gonna add some of this contact paper that I got from the Dollar Tree to give it that extra wow factor. So I first started off uh, measuring where I'm gonna place this contact paper and I'm gonna put it on the side of the drawer so I can give it a nice statement every time you open up the drawer. Once I got my measurements, I went ahead and traced it out on the back portion of the contact paper. Now this contact paper has some grid lines so it can make it uh, easier for you to trace and mark out exactly the type of measurements you would like for any project that you're using it for. Once I traced it out, I got some scissors and cut out the what I marked down. I then peeled off the corner of the contact paper and placed it from the top way and I just slowly peeled the back of the contact paper off and I used a credit card to smooth out any of the lumps and bumps to make sure there's no air pockets in there to make it nice and smooth. I also want to incorporate this contact paper in the bottom of the drawers as well to make it look cohesive um, throughout the whole entire cabinet. And also just to give it a nice pop of color as well. I apply the same exact steps as I did with the sides of the drawers by measuring them out and then tracing it and cutting it out. And this time I decided to pull off the whole entire bag and place it down on the surface. And then once it was where I wanted it to be, I got the credit card and smoothed out any of the air pockets and lumps and bumps to make sure it was nice and smooth. And this is how it turned out. I am so overjoyed and how it turned out is exactly the way I envisioned it. It's nice and modern looking and it matches our soap dispenser so well.